Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this WebDriver IO playlist that we are continuing, we have seen different test cases. We have executed those test cases like handling calendar, handling dropdown, and some sample test cases. And all those test cases we were running until now in the Chrome. But there might be a requirement where you have to run these tests in different browser as well. And WebDriver IO has the capability to run uh, in different browsers. So in this video, let's explore that, what options that we have, what configurations we need to do. So let's get into the code. So this is our configuration file. And if you see, there is a capabilities section where we have defined maximum instance browser name. So let me delete some extra comments here and just clean up a bit. And from arrow bracket, let's put it in one next line here and right click and format the document. And so this is the capabilities for the Chrome driver where we are saying we are running, going to run maximum instance five at a time and total instance will be 10. And then if you scroll down here, the service is called Chrome driver service. That means we are utilizing only Chrome driver service and when we run the test, it runs only in the Chrome. So now let's see how we can run the test in Firefox. So let's get to the official website. And if you go to the docs, you have a section called services. So for Firefox, we need to use Gecko driver. So let's find where we have a Gecko driver. Yeah, Gecko driver service. So this is a third party package. And for more information, you can check GitHub or NPM site. And then you have to define a browser name, Firefox. But before that, first you have to install this service. So how to install? This is the command. So let's run this command. So it will install WDIO Geeko driver service. Once until that is happening, we have to install a driver as well. So for each browser compatible, we need to download a driver as well. And for that, for Firefox, we need to use Geeko driver. So we have to download two things. The service that is required. For example, when we were running in the Chrome, we had a Chrome driver service. Now we want to run in Firefox. So we have a Geeko driver service we have downloaded. And then also we had a Chrome driver which will help to execute. Similarly, for Firefox, we need to have a Gecko driver. So this is the command I have copied from here. So, so first command is to Gecko driver service. Then second command is Gecko driver. Let's install that as well. And whatever installation you'll do, that record will be entered here. So if you see, we have downloaded the Gecko driver and we have downloaded the Gecko driver service. These two things done. Now we have to update the browser name in the capability section here. So if we go again to the capabilities section here, as of now, we have a Chrome as a Chrome we are running. So I'll just copy the same, put comma and add one more and add here as Firefox. Now we're going to run only in Firefox. So I'll just comment this out, existing one, and we'll try to run only in Firefox. Once you do that, then you have to update a service as well as a Geekwood driver. So if you see here in the service, you need to copy this service and then go to the services section and add one more. We were using Chrome. Now let's add one more as a Geekwood driver. So now we have a Chrome and Geekwood driver. But for the capabilities, the browser I want to run, I've commented for the Chrome. So it will run only run in the Firefox. Now when we run the test, so the command is npm run wdio. It's going to run all the tests, but I don't want to run all. Let's try to run only one. And yes, obviously you need to have a Chrome uh, Firefox installed in your system to execute the test. So let me try to take one example E2E test cases and execute. So what I'll do, I'll update here example E2E and it is going to run only one this test. So let's try to start here. It is trying to execute. And if you notice in the console also running in Firefox, I think it has completed and it has passed. But if you notice here, it's saying running in Firefox and passed in Firefox and that test has been passed. So we are able to run the test in Firefox. Now let's try to run the test in both the browser simultaneously. So now what I'll do, I'll un uncomment this here Firefox. And now if I run single test, as of now, because I have given only single test here, it should run one test as it has executed. So let me now run the command again. Now you will see two workers have started. So 
one is firefox and one is chrome both are executing and has completed now if you see here two test pass though we are executing only one file it is showing two reason because it executed once in chrome and another in the firefox and even in the detail you will see running running in chrome this file then running in firefox this file so yeah this is how we can run in multiple browser different browsers now what if you want to uh, you know run in edge driver so if we check the documentation here we have microsoft edge we should have ms edge as well edge service as well so we can use again we can update the capabilities we can install the edge driver services we can we have to update the service as we have done and then it should work so just let me repeat again to run any test in any browser you need two things one a driver another a web driver io service for that uh, browser for example if you want to run in chrome we have a chrome driver and wdio chrome driver service if you want to run in firefox we have installed chrome uh, gecko driver and we have installed gecko driver service once these two installation is done we'll go to configuration and then we'll add our capabilities for whichever browser we want to run and then whichever service we would like to use right so now if you want to run in single browser you have to comment it out so for example i want to run only in firefox so you have to comment this out chrome and then you have to run in firefox but i don't want to do that like i don't want to execute my test cases um like by commenting so if i want to run in chrome it should run only in chrome if i want to run in firefox we should run only in firefox so we need to optimize this configuration file a bit and then on demand based on the browser you want to define or based on the command you run it will execute only that particular in browser so let's see how we can you know achieve or optimize this and run uh, you know target different configuration file or different browsers based on the command so what you have to do as of now first let's try to understand when you run say when we say npm run wdio it comes and execute this code and in this code we have targeted one configuration file that means this file in this file you have defined the capabilities so what we have to do now we can add one more script like this and we can say here test hyphen chrome or test hyphen firefox you can let's say and then we have to create some file like this here and we can say dot firefox in and then in our package.json instead of this one we have to target dot firefox file and in firefox configurations we can remove the chrome one and in the basic one which we are using we can remove the firefox also because we are using only chrome here we don't need a gecko driver in the as a service here and in the firefox e2e we are using only chrome sorry only firefox we don't need chrome so we'll remove the chrome service from here right now if let's just try to see npm run and if we say here let's change the command from wdio to test so if you say npm run test it's going to run only in the chrome see it is executing in the chrome and then execution has been completed and if you see here running in chrome but now if you say npm run test firefox then it should execute in the firefox so it is trying to execute in the firefox and complete it also and if you here notice here complete in the firefox so now with the command we are able to execute and run in different browser let's create one more configuration file like this and make it as cross browser so that cross browser now what will happen in that i'll have configuration for both file so i'll have configuration for chrome firefox and here as well service let me copy it from the configuration name and for let's add the command as well so we need to keep on adding the command so now i'll copy this and instead of firefox i'll say 
uh, cross browser you can give any name here whatever name you you feel is right you can just do it and we need to target this configuration file now and now if you run this command npm run cross hyphen browser then it will run in both sorry and there is something is missing here we dot ts if you run now it will run in both file so it is running in firefox and it is running in the chrome as well right so if you see the logs it is running in both chrome has been completed looks like execution has been completed yeah it was quite fast but we can check the log always here so it executed in chrome and firefox so now what happened we are able to run either if you run npm run test it will execute only in the chrome but if you run to one run in only firefox we can run this command npm test firefox it will run only in firefox and if you want to run in both then we can run this command cross browser so we are able to you know achieve all this configuration but one thing you will see this is a configuration file then this is a configuration file and there is three configuration file only few parts are changing for example here only capabilities are changing in based on the all file and the services are changing the rest everything all the configuration remains same so it's like we have duplicated the code by copy pasting the files so it's a code duplication and it's not a good idea to keep similar codes again and again in every places so in the next video we'll try to optimize this C, uh, configuration and see how we can use this as a base file and then use the same base file as a configuration as a base inherit it and then only update or change the, the part that is required for example we want to change only here the capabilities that we can change and we don't need to have the complete complete configuration so that we'll explore in the next video thank you so much